Ka, welcome back to Voice of the Nations in our interview program today. Uh, please welcome live. Uh, please welcome Kunthon Thamrong Nawasawat, Deputy Dean of Kasesat University's Faculty of Fisheries. Ka, สวัสดี ka. สวัสดีครับ. สวัสดี ka. First of all, welcome to our program and thank you for coming and doing our program, นะคะ. ครับ. Happy to be here. Because to do that. my co-host is Kunyad ka. Yes. Um, I would like to ask about the situation in Rayong right now. It seems it seems kind of control or under control, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every oil spill is uh, quite the same happening in Gulf of Mexico or in a, everywhere in the world. Mm. The first thing is uh, the, 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 the impact we very seriously in the first uh 48 hours and oh. then after that for a week the impact uh, uh decreased dramatically uh but they're still there because mm -hmm. what we use to uh, uh to protect our environment and i would say uh, to get rid of the oil slick we use this turbans uh put some chemical into the oil slick when you put some chemical into the oil slick, what happened is the oil, the oil will uh, <clears throat> come to the smaller molecule and come down into the water body. So it's easier for bacteria or other things to digest all the oil and mm -hmm. get rid of it. But it will not happen in 48 hours or two or three days. It will take 10 days or more mm -hmm. than that before it can uh, all the oil disappear. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, the small particle of oil is in the water. So using the satellite, you cannot see the mm -hmm. oil slick because it's past that time already. It's mm -hmm. come to the time the small oil underwater. No, no matter satellite that you use, you can detect mm -hmm. that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the oil in the water, there are two states. The first, if they are still in the water, they will be digested by the bacteria and disappear. The second thing is, if they hit the beach or whatever, the shoreline, coral reef or whatever, they will attach to that. And that's what is, uh, we call the impact to the marine ecosystem. The first mm -hmm. three, day, uh, in, uh, three days after oil leak, you can see a lot of black, oil slick on mm. the Malam Pung Beach, as you show the audience uh, about the black uh, slick along the shore, along the beach. That is part of the oil that come in. So we have uh, to do a lot to clean up the uh, mm. oil slick on the beach, as you see in the photo right now. Mm -hmm. But there are still some in water. At the moment, there's still some. And what happened after that is we will not have something like this, right? In a, 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 a lot of oil come to the shore anymore because most of them spread around. Mm -hmm. But we will have something like a small oil uh, drop or something we call tarbo. Tarbo mm -hmm. is if the oil, like a mm -hmm. film in the water, come mm -hmm. together with a small sand particle it will uh, uh, start to build a small ball, the black one uh, is a tar ball, as you know, we call it tar ball. And you will uh, might see the tar ball along the beach of Malampung and the mm -hmm. surrounding area, depend on what the oil uh, underwater go. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder about the way we clean up, like you'll be seeing the pictures now, how many ways or how many steps for cleaning up the oil, uh, oil or, or what the beach? We have to create uh, in the sea, as you uh -huh. see. We have a lot of boat come in. The, uh -huh. the ma majority of cleaning the oil, if it happened in the sea, the first thing is you have to protect it, not let it attach to the attack the shore. Because when it attack the shore, especially the beach, there are a lot of sandy beach, something like that. It will be harder to clean it. Mm -hmm. We try to do uh, in the sea. But unfortunately, 
some of them come to the mm. shop and you can mm. see something like this mm. you can get absorbance or something like that to absorb the oil slick. Mm. Uh -huh. but some oil will go down into the sand mm. five centimeter ten or even mm. half a minute or more than that it depends on time if the oil go down into the sand it will hardly digest by the bacteria so it will stay mm. there and for a long time before it's all gone so it might take three months six months or a year mm. or more than that for everything to become normal mm. so when we do what we do is we will try to uh, calculate try to uh, analyze how many uh, we call it uh, tph total petroleum hydrocarbon mm. in the beach of thailand or every beach in around the world there's some hydrocarbon tph mm -hmm. so we have to calculate it first to check how much of it and when the oil come we recheck again we will get the before and after information and if you would like to ask me what is impact we have to wait for that wait for the mm -hmm. after after is at the moment we not call it after it's happening it's still happening mm -hmm. but after might take another two weeks or whatever said so, and then we will get before after uh after and we know the impact and we we'll check time to time to see mm -hmm. uh, when everything will be come back to normal that it might take months or even mm -hmm. two or three years mm -hmm. oh. I would like to ask, this is not the first time that we have this kind of incident. We have this kind of incident like a few years ago in 2013. And now, uh, my question is, are there any lessons learned in that? Or are there any uh, protections or preventions in this from year 2013 to, to now? Mm -hmm. Has anything been changed in, in mm -hmm. terms of um how are we dealing with it from okay. 2013 to now mm -hmm. oh there are some share at first uh we have to separate three operation first is to protect protect the reef never happen uh -huh. second is when if they have a leak have a oil slick how we can get rid of it third is uh, how to analyze the impact both for the natural resources and also the human activity. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So three mm -hmm. of these, the first one to protect, to protect, uh, they, they try to utilize up some procedure, some system to control. But I have to say it frankly, mm -hmm. it still happen again. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if you would like to do something about, about this oil leak, lesson learned or whatever, you have to go back to the first how to prevent how mm. the accident. We have to mm. very serious try to do something to check and prevent mm. this something, some like this, this picture uh, not to happen again in Rayong and other places in Thailand. Second is how to get rid of uh, oil. Um, um, after that incident in 2013, uh, mm. uh, the company, many companies joined together and have uh, buy uh, one chip, the uh, oil, uh, to, to, to try to buy a, buoy, a boom, a boom for the oil slick boom, have a chip, everything upgrade. But as I told you, when it happened, it's very hard to to mm -hmm. to, to stop <laughs> to to get rid of it in the sea. But anyway, we have more more ship. We have more technique. Mm -hmm. We have uh, like mm -hmm. a, a, a satellite image that we not don't have uh, in two o one three. So we have uh, improved a lot to get rid of the oil. But it's still not enough, <laughs> as you see. This is uh, it's still not enough. The third mm -hmm. thing, the last thing is. Uh, to uh, analyze the impact, uh -huh. to mm -hmm. determine the impact that happened. This time, uh, Riri really Chen, in 2013, which I also involved, we don't mm -hmm. have time to check the environment, check the beach, coral, or whatever, before the oil come in. 
at that time the oil already come in so we cannot have a before information mm-hmm. and it's a very hard to calculate the impact but this mm-hmm. time we do just a such university with the joy to get with the department of marine and coastal resort uh check everything before we have the information mm-hmm. before on the man on pung beach that how many by valve how many mm-hmm. hoisia, <laughs> how many mm-hmm. uh, put, uh crap or whatever mm-hmm. we have the information we can tell you that uh hard man pung is very dominant with the uh, hoisia and also mm-hmm. uh, by mm-hmm. valve and also the small crap was crap mm-hmm. or whatever so mm-hmm. uh, we have the information like that so now we think that we can calculate the impact using the before and after uh, information that we very lack uh, in the f- first incident in 2013. So mm-hmm. we learn a lot. But if you ask me that it's enough, I can say mm-hmm. that it's not enough, especially yeah. the first one that try to prevent. You have to do a lot more for prevent. I see. Mm-hmm. So according, according to the news, uh, sorry, uh, the seafood from the young is still safe. To consume this oh nobody can tell is said or not uh when you check you have uh, we, we have to check first in the water as uh, you told uh, the audience mm-hmm. that uh, we check is okay it's a water water move you mm-hmm. see it move from here to there to there to there the real impact is under sand sea from mm-hmm. whatever if the oil come down there no. then might leak back small mm-hmm. but widespread so safe or not safe is depend on the government and uh, the province government provincial government to declare mm-hmm. this is a safe now to swim mm-hmm. or whatever i cannot tell you that it's safe or not but as far as i concern there's still uh Pung still be the area prohibit swimming or activity you have mm-hmm. to follow the provincial uh, government to uh, announce that mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. Uh, so my last question would be, uh, would there be any adopting or practical plan to further tackle uh, this problem in the future to prevent it in terms of infrastructure? Or is it time already that we, Thailand, to concentrate on uh, moving forward towards the green energy? First, you have to understand that this oil is not for car. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> if you the, the oil, everybody ask me every everybody oil for the car is go to lamp shabang. <laughs> At my <laughs> is, is 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 the raw material for petrochemical industry. I mean, I understand oil. that. But I mean, <laughs> you understand it, that. So if I, you I understand, do understand that, that. you can see that if we go to what every every car in Thailand is EV, we still have to import oil. For people, oh, for that. plastic, for... for whatever. So yes. oil at map the put will stay on and on, no matter what car that you use. The first thing, second thing is, we have to do a lot if we know that we would Thailand announce to everybody in the world in COP twenty six or whatever that we will be a green industry or the strategy national policy talking about sustainable mm-hmm. development and green right. green and all the world also go toward that mm-hmm. but if we allow this incident happen mm-hmm. and happen again and happen again no matter what that to talk to speak announce or whatever mm. in any uh, symposium or conference is nothing because in the real world it's happening mm. mm-hmm. and i uh and i accident is a uh, most one of the most serious mm-hmm. thing that can happen in the sea and everybody in the world out now is they love to the sea so if you would like to do some uh to uh, to get the investment of the international fund or whatever you have mm. to clean yourself you have mm. to protect your environment you have to take care of your sea and something that happened right now in mm. Rayong is go in the wrong direction you have to invest more in the environmental protection system and mm. try to invest a lot more because when it happened it happened you can mm. go back to solve that and no matter advertisement or whatever you speak is 
nothing if it happened in the real mm. world. And as far as I concern, this news about the oil accident in Rayong go around the world. So mm. it will be very really hard to declare whatever you talk, but uh, whatever people talk, they clean, whatever, no more impact. But when you show, even the right. nation show the, the, the video, there. everybody see the black thing. <laughs> so no matter everybody talk, what happened, I is most important. Right. Yeah, right? right. So we have to do more. We have to invest a mm. lot more to mm. make us clean as we talk. Okay. Right. Okay, Ka. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Ka, for today for clarifying in uh, a lot of matters, a lot of factors for the impact and for what Thailand should be doing more right. in investing to preventing this type of uh, incidents. Mm -hmm. um, and for today, we would like to thank you, Ajahn Thon, for joining our programs. Ka, and thank you very much for uh, the inside information. ขอบคุณครับสวัสดีค่ะขอบคุณมากครับ